Okay, um, for number 28, uh, remember when we're looking at a problem like this, what we're going to want to make sure we do is we want to make sure that I'm looking at number 28. Um, we want to make sure we can simplify our radicals because remember adding and subtracting radicals, we can only add or subtract when our radicands are exactly the same. So right now we do not have two radicands that are the same, so we need to simplify them, see if we can. So what I want to do is I want to try to break apart this. I can't take the square root of 75, so I want to rewrite it with numbers that I can take the square root of. So I can rewrite this as 25 times 3 plus I can rewrite the square root of 12 as 4 times 3. Right? So what I did is by rewriting them in this format, the reason why I chose those specific numbers is because I can take the square root of 25 and I can take the square root of 4. So by doing that, I have 5 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3. I can't take the square root of 3, so it remains under the radical. Now, when adding our radicands, we're just going to say 5 squared of 3 plus 2 squared of 3 is now 7 squared of 3. OK? And that's it for that one. Easy peasy squeezy.